Everybody, your man Lennox in the house, Kristen Lennox behind the camera here. Thanks, hon. We decided to bring the back deck fishing report out to the front deck of the boat. Beautiful Labor Day weekend here. Busy, busy water here on the Saturday. Uh, water looks really good for flounder fishing, so I'm sure some of these people are flounder fishing. You got idiot yahoos like this. Hey, it's six miles an hour. Six knots. Six knots. Yeah, all the way past there. So that's how it works, man. Sometimes you gotta regulate. But back here, especially on a busy weekend like this, you can't have guys going by like that. Very nice, man. He settled right down, didn't know it. But you gotta know, six mile an hour zone from all the way down by Astig Island, the commercial harbor, up here past 9th Street, almost the Harbor Island, right where you make the turn to head over to what we call the Y. All six knots through here. They'll pull this up probably sometime in October. So October, November, all the off season. It's not six knots down uh, through here, but right now it is all the way through sometime in October. So like I say, we decided to bring the back deck fishing report out here to the bay. We got the trolling motor from Midshore Electronics just sitting here, real, real still. Awesome thing we've had on here for a couple of weeks. And we've got some updates. Got some tournaments still coming down the pipeline like our inshore classic we'll get to in a little bit. But we just had the last big money tournament of the season last week with the Mid-Atlantic. Was an awesome event. Uh, had 178 boats fishing the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, over five million dollars in prize money. Great, great tournament. Here's how it all wraps up. In the Wahoo category, third place was on the Oil Slick, 46 pound Wahoo. Nice fish there. Second place on the Craftsmanship at 72 pounds. Big news from the tournament with this one. The first place fish was a new tournament record in the Wahoo category. My buddy Tucker Calhoun, Captain Tucker Calhoun, God's gift to fishing. 104 pound Wahoo breaks the old tournament record. Uh, set back in the 90s, I think it was. 104 pound Wahoo, absolute beast. In the dolphin category, third place was caught on the Sea Wolf, 33 pounds. Second place on the Love and Life at 39 pounds. And first place on the Valentine at 43 pounds. In the tuna category, third and second place, both go to the same boat. The right place was in the right place when they hooked up two big eyes, 152 and 193 pounds. Good for second and third place in the tuna category. First place in the tuna category, big old big eye, 210 pounds on board the Lucky Duck. So unlike the White Marlin Open where there were big eye after big eye after big eye, there weren't that many big eyes in the mid-Atlantic. Only a couple of them weighed, three fish to be exact. Fourth place was a yellowfin tuna. Um, but also unlike the, mid uh, the uh, White Marlin Open, the mid-Atlantic saw blue marlin after blue marlin after blue marlin. This was definitely the week of the blue marlin. And in the blue marlin category, third place was over 600 pounds, 607 to be exact, on the Kilo Charlie. Uh, my buddy Burrow and the guys on the Kilo Charlie. Second place was on the Lucky 7 at 619 pounds. And first place was on the low profile at 657 pounds. And there were another probably, I'd say, 10 blue marlin that qualified. Different qualifications for the Mid-Atlantic than there are for the White Marlin Open. White Marlin Open, I think it's 112 or 114 inches. Your blue marlin has to be, and when it's that long, doesn't matter what it weighs. So that one fish in the, blue, in the White Marlin Open was 511 pounds, and that's because it met their minimum length requirement. Mid-Atlantic, a little bit different. You only have to be 102 inches long, but you also have to be 400 pounds. So there were lots and lots of blue marlin that met both of those criteria. White Marlin category. Third place on the Random Chaos at 66 pounds. Nice fish there. Second place, Michael Jordan's Catch-23 at 73 pounds. And they got bumped in on the final day by the Karma at 75 pounds. They won $850 or $75,000. Like I say, great event for the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, Rick Weber and his team did an awesome job. Tournament director Aaron Hoffman up in New Jersey running things. Great job once again. And lots and lots of money paid out during the 31st annual Mid-Atlantic Tournament. So the guys found some fish during the Mid-Atlantic. White Marlin Open Man, they were scarce, right? Only one qualifying um, blue marlin, only a couple of white marlin that qualified, not a lot brought to the scales. 
during the mid-Atlantic, different story, man. They found the fish up in the Linden Cole, Spencer Canyon area, and they started to move down after the tournament was over. So white marlin fishing has picked up and still doing pretty good as, as we say this out here on YouTube for you. Um, but right after the tournament, some really great catches. We had the real chaos, catch and release six white marlin one day. Uh, Captain Monty Hawkins got a great shot of the sand bob coming in one afternoon. Had one blue marlin and eight white marlin releases. Bill Fisher, 12 of 15 bites out there one day at a great uh, release day. And nine-year-old nine Dominic caught and released his first white marlin. That's always a cool thing when a young kid releases his first white marlin. Don't forget, if you catch a white marlin in Ocean City, Maryland, you can go to our website. It's fishinoc.com, and we've got a first white marlin form on there. Fill it out. We'll send you a certificate from us in the town of Ocean City. Pretty cool if you want to put it in a frame uh, and for your first white marlin out of Ocean City, Maryland. There's also some tuna around. Got some tuna out in the canyons when you're out there trolling for the white and blue marlin and stuff. A couple of long fins, some yellow fins, one or two big eyes caught. Um, Real Chaos had five white marlin releases the other day, and they added two really big stud long fin albacore to that. Uh, Rochambeau was fishing out there. He had a nice day with a 70 pound plus yellow fin tuna and a pile of blue line tilefish. And Captain jo Joe Drozzi was fishing a little bit inshore then. Uh, he had a good day with four nice yellowfin tuna, man. So a couple of tuna fishing around, not a lot. White marlin fishing starts to slow down. Tuna fishing will start to pick back up. Hopefully we see some of that late September and October tuna fishing. So mahi fishing is pretty good right now too. Most of the good action for mahi is happening inshore, anywhere from like eight to say 20 miles offshore or so in the peanut size range. We call them peanuts because they're a little bit smaller fish. Anywhere from three to maybe 10 pounds or so, but there are a lot of them out there. Find something floating out there, anything basically. I've heard from burlap bags. Um, most of the time you can see them under markers that are marking sea bass pots, marking lobster traps, things like that. Any kind of floats them that's been out there for a couple of days is bound to have mahi on it this time of the year. And they're mostly gonna be in that small three to say 10 pound range with a couple of bigger fish mixed in. Party boats have been getting in on the action. The Angler, Morning Star, uh, Ocean Princess have all caught mahi inshore and catching some nice fish, man. That's great when the sea bass fishing is as slow as it is right now. We'll get to that in just a minute. Um, Captain Chris on the spring mix too, he's making a trip out of it. He's turning it into like a half day or full day inshore trip. And they've been catching a couple of limits of mahi, which is really, really cool for this time of year. As mentioned, sea bass fishing is kind of meh right now. Uh, not great. I was cat with Captain Chris on the angler the other day. Man, I didn't hardly catch anything. I had a couple of uh, released sea bass, but it was a six and a half hour trip, not like his eight hour trips that are going on right now. But sea bass fishing is, yeah, you get on the right day, the right wreck, um, and everything falls in line. You can catch some fish, don't get me wrong, but that will pick up as the water cools down and the season goes on. Um, that being said, if you go offshore into some of the deeper water and do some deep dropping, there are some big fish out there. Captain Austin Enzer on primary search, he found some fish over six pounds out there in the deep. Deep dropping for blue line, golden tile fish, and some sea bass in there too, and some of them were over six pounds. That's absolutely huge. Flounder fishing is pretty good on the wrecks and reefs right now. Um, got some, got some, the party boats are, are taking advantage of that too. So where the sea bass is lacking, you know what you're doing. You can catch a couple of flounder. They've all been catching flounder as well. And just the other day, uh, buddy Kevin McNellis went out and took his dad out and his dad was able to catch his um, personal best at over 23 inches. Really great fish. Back bay fishing, back where we are right now, you can see a lot of people cruising around, but flounder fishing's pretty good. If you can get on this green water, show them a shot of this. That's the kind of water you're looking for when you want to go flounder fishing, man. You don't know if you want your music quite that loud, but what clean water like this, bound to be a flounder in it. We're in an area right now where you can catch some bigger fish. This deeper water coming up from the Ocean City Inlet is a great spot to catch bigger flounder this time of year. You're gonna to wanna to use live bunker, live spot, live mullet, things like that in order to catch those bigger fish. You fish the, all the other areas of Ocean City, the thoroughfare behind Astig Island, plenty of fish around. Most of the time they're gonna be throwbacks. You might catch a keeper here and there. We're also starting to see some croaker from back here too, which is a really great sign. Route 50 bridge right here, still holding rockfish and still holding bluefish. Captain Wayne Blanks on Bayside Guide Service, he's got that down, man. He goes and throws his trolling motor down there at the Route 50 bridge, does some stuff with the pool noodles and stuff, but he's doing really, really well with the bluefish, catching fish up to 36 inches, which is absolutely huge. That's 12 or so pounds. And to be catching those uh, 12 pounders in early September, that's a really cool thing for those bluefish back here in the bay. 
Uh, also seeing some tog and some sheep's head at the jetties. That will also get better as the season move, moves along. We'll be going to do some of this stuff as it gets uh, as it gets a little bit cooler. Ryan's going back to school, so Kristen and I are gonna have a chance to come out here and have meetings right here in the in the East Channel or over there at the Ocean City Inlet, doing some fishing of our own. We'll be bringing it to you right here on the YouTube channel and on our show Hooked on OC. You can check out here at YouTube too. It's YouTube.com forward slash Unseen Pro. Check that out. Our Ocean City Inshore Classic Tournament is just a month away, man. Registration is on October 7th, Friday, October 7th at the Sunset Marina uh, Activity Room. That's on the east end of the property. We'll be doing registration and sign-ups there. We'll have buckets for the first 50 people that sign up for the tournament. We haven't hit that number yet, but I would imagine sometime soon we will. Weather cooperates for us, and fishing is usually good that first couple of weeks in October. So hopefully we'll get some fish and some uh, registration sign-ups on October 7th. Look for us on Facebook at Ocean City Inshore Classic where we do updates all the time. Categories for rockfish, flounder, tall tog, and an open category. And we've got some really good payouts. Last year's first place rockfish won over $6,000. Pretty cool. And then our first place flounder also won over $3,000. So we're paying out quite a bit of money for that Inshore Classic. Have an awards banquet on Sunday night at the Ocean City Marlin Club where they throw it down for us. And it's a really, really great time. Got a lot of camaraderie in that tournament and it's a really cool thing for us to be able to bring it to you. Um, hey, go, guys, don't forget, like us on Facebook, man. It's Fishing OC on Facebook. It's iFishing OC on Instagram. Got a couple of folks over here that follow the page waving to us. We appreciate you uh, tagging along with us, everything we do. We appreciate all the kind words. Kristen's even getting recognized at the grocery store and Home Depot and places like that when she goes out, and I am too. And we, we can't thank you enough. Thanks for joining us for all the tournaments we brought to you all season long. But now it's time to slow down a little bit. Labor Day weekend is here. And after this busy weekend, it's going to be time for us to get out on the water and do some fishing and bringing it to you here on the YouTube channel and on Hooked on OC on Sunday mornings. So until next time, Lennox out. <laughs>